Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me Victoria. Thank you for joining me and if this is your first video, welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support and I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So in today's video, I'm going to be setting up a spirulina culture that I received over the weekend from Algae Research and Supply in the US. This is going to be something that I use to feed my tanks with and also something that I'm going to do some microscopic investigations with to try and identify some issues that I've got going on in another one of my tanks. Spirulina is a type of algae that grows in salt water and today I'm going to be making a spirulina culture at home which is something you can easily do at home as well. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. Enjoy. Cheers. So today I'm going to be setting up a spirulina culture. Here is everything I think I will need to do that. I've already removed my jewellery and washed my hands with bactericidal soap to remove anything that is on my hands. What I'm going to do in a moment is put on my gloves and face mask. This is to protect the culture from any bacteria that may be on my hands or from my mouth when I breathe out because I really don't want to cross contaminate it with everything because it will be fed to my tank and I want to keep it pure and I'll also be doing some research on it under the microscope so I really don't want anything else to get in there. So let me get my PPE on and I'll be right back. So I'm now back, I have my gloves on, my face mask, and I also have my lab coat on, just so anything that is on my clothes isn't going to get into the culture. So let me just clear the area and I'll show you what we're working with. So this is the culture that I'm going to be starting today, which is spirulina, and its scientific name is Arthrospira platensis. This is a set I ordered recently from Algae Research and Supply over in the US. It came really, really quickly. I think I ordered it Saturday and first thing Monday morning it was delivered. So I'm really, really impressed with the quick delivery. And I've got a little spirulina set. So this is what we're going to do today. So in the set, we've got a little culture jar. We also have the spirulina. Maybe this should pop there. There are two of those butterfingers, as you can see. And we also have the algae nutrients that will be added. And the spirulina culture salts. It also comes with a little algae culturing guide, as shown here which has information on different strains of algae and what you need to know to culture them. So as I said, today we're going to be doing spirulina. What you need to do is add the culture salts to 500 mils of filtered water. So I have 500 mils of water already prepared here in a jug that I have measured out. This is distilled water that I distilled myself, so it's got rid of any impurities and anything in it. What you can use if you're using tap water is something like the API tap water conditioner that will remove any chlorine from the water because you don't want the chlorine to be in it. That will make the algae not ideal conditions for the algae to grow. So that's an alternative you can use there. So I have the water made up here and we're going to start by adding the spirulina culture salts. So we're just going to undo the packet. And pour that into the jar. I've just got a pipette, a clean pipette, that we're going to use just to give that a little mix. So that should, because it's what come with the pack and I followed the instructions, that should set it right around, around the right salinity and pH. So I'm just going to test that. I have a pH testing meter here. Now we're just going to pop that in the water and the pH is sitting around 9.43. Before this gets used on anything it will be rinsed with the distilled water rinse and it will be left to dry before the cap goes back on just so there's no cross contamination with anything. So we've got our water, now we have the algae nutrients which it says add to 500 ml of bottled water. I'm just going to pop the cap off and pour that in. 
we go. And again, using the pipette, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir. So what we're going to do now is take our algae culture flask and pop in the algae. So as you can see, Arthrospira platensis, which is spirulina. So you get two of these and it's just going to go straight into the culture container when it wants to come out. There we go. And add the second one in there. I'm then going to top this off with the water that I have prepared. And pop the lid on. So these are specific tissue flasks. So they do have aeration holes in the lid so the algae can breathe as such. So that is our little flask of spirulina. The water looks very, very pale at the moment because it's only a very, very small concentration of spirulina in there at the moment. But as that grows, that will darken in colour as, as the... Um, so as this grows, it will darken in colour as the amount of spirulina in there increases. So this will gradually darken as it grows. So that is our little spirulina culture. I'm just going to make a label for it so I know what it is and with today's date. So my little culture is all labelled up as you can see. There's a little um, frosted area on the plastic ready for a sticker so that's all done. So there is my spirulina culture. I will continue to film this as it grows and pop back with some updates. But that's quite a handy little kit, it's got everything in you really need to start the culture. It contains the nutrients, the salts for the water, and of course the spirulina, and this great little book on lots of different strains of algae and what conditions they like to grow in. And you can read lots more about spirulina and the features of it really. So spirulina will be used to feed my sea monkey tanks and it will also be used for microscope investigations, just looking at it under the microscope and checking for different things really. So that'll be a future video where I'll do some of my clinical investigations of what I am doing with the different strains of algae and what I have going on with my microscope at the moment, which would be quite an interesting thing. But for now, that's going to be a different video. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video on setting up a spirulina culture and I hope you enjoy the updates as they come in. So thank you. So like when you're growing a plant, algae need certain things to survive. These are heat, light and oxygen. Different strains of algae require different levels of these, like with the salinity in the water. Some algae likes fresh water, some likes brackish, some likes salt. So it really depends on the algae you are culturing. This algae, spirulina, uses light for photosynthesis. So it wants to be in quite a light area and quite at a hot temperature. So it's going to go on my heat mat on the windowsill. Oxygenation is very important for the algae to grow. So it has got the little holes in the lid there, as you can see. But what I'm going to do is just add some oxygen into the water. So for this, I'm using my Aqualiche that I stole from one of my sea monkey sets. Alternatively, you can use a pipette or a syringe, any method really of getting oxygen into the water. So what I'm just going to do is get this little aqua leash here, just pop it down to the bottom and just slowly press it to allow that air to go in, like so. And what I make sure to do is just to remove it out before letting the top go, just so you don't suck up any of the water. With this, it wouldn't matter too much because there is no live animal in it. Um, however, it's just good practice that I've got into where I have sea monkey and shrimp and do this for their water. 
So I would do that 10 to 20 times a day really, just to help it. With larger algae cultures, I run an air pump into them, but with something so small as this, I think oxygenating the water like this would be absolutely fine. And as previously shown, it does have the holes in the lid, so oxygen can get in. I've removed the insert that was just inside there, as you can see, so the oxygen can now get in and the holes are open. So this is our spirulina culture, all labelled up and ready to go. So this is going to go on my heating mat for my sea monkey, so it will get lots of natural light because they are by the window, and it will also get the heat because this wants to be kept around 38 degrees and my tanks are 28, so I think it will do quite well. So I'll show you that. I've just put my algae culture on my heating mat with my sea monkeys and that stays around 28 degrees controlled by the thermostat so that would be nice and warm for it. It's also an extra window so it gets sunlight as well so that would be nice in encouraging the algae to grow. There are also grow lights around the sea monkey tanks that encourage algae to grow in the tank so they will also help with this algae growing. And I will take update videos as it grows and until then thank you for watching, goodbye! So this is my spirulina one day after setting up the culture. You can see the water is slightly more green than it was on the previous day and you can see parts of the algae just at the bottom there. The spirulina doesn't sit in the water column unless you've shaken it up like so. It does tend to congregate around the top or the bottom of the tank. So I'll be back with some more updates to let you know how this is going on. So that's day one of the spirulina culture. So this is what the spirulina culture looks like after one week. You can see the bits of spirulina floating around and there is lots of growth going on because the water is a really nice green colour. So let's give that a shake up, help aerate it. You can see the really nice green colour going on there. So that is my one week update on the spirulina culture. So I am back for week two spirulina update. So this is my spirulina culture. You can see here there's lots of spirulina all congregating at the bottom and you can see a little bit in the water column as well. So I'm just going to give that a shake to mix it in and you can see the water is a really really nice rich green colour. So there we go, that is what week two of my spirulina culture looks like. So this is my week three algae update. So this is the spirulina culture. You can see the water is a really nice green colour and you can see clumps of green sort of floating in the water column here, but a lot of the green is situated along the bottom. So if I just give this a shake up a moment, you can see that all mixes into the water column and you've got a really, really nice rich green colour. I have had a look under the microscope at this today and it looks really cool. You can really see the spiral snake looking shapes and I'm including some of those microscope photos into this video for you to have a look at. So I hope you enjoy those. So this is week three of my spirulina culture. So we've got our microscope set up we've got the slide we're just going to place the slide on the stage like so and we're going to have a look I will share some photos of what spirulina looks like under the microscope right now
for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate all of your support. If you've got any questions or anything you want to know, please let me know down in the comments and I will get back to you as well as any requests for future videos and I will do my best to meet them all. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Victoria. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.